please welcome to Capital Breakfast, it's Adam Lambert, everyone! Yeah. What up? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, uh, you're on FaceTime right now. Where are you? I'm in LA in a studio working on this EP. Wow, showbiz. <laughs> 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 playing your new track. We've been playing it today for the very first time here on Capital. Do you still get nervous if, you, if, you, if you're releasing music? I'm just so excited it's finally out. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, I've been working on this song for a while. So it, it's not nerves. It's just like, um, it's excitement. And and I'm so relieved. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and hearing the song on the radio, like, because that is that actually turns out to be quite a strange moment for a lot of people. Does that still feel weird, or are you cool with that now? Well, wait a minute. Are, I actually haven't heard it on the radio yet. Amazing. So. It's about to happen. Amazing. It's about to happen. Yeah. So we just play. I mean, we've we've played it already. So I mean, this is it. So we, we're gonna we're gonna give it another play. Um, oh my god. But um, <laughs> with this track, how did it come about? Um, I was in the studio with some people that I really like, um, that I had heard about, and we were just like, you know what? Let's do something funky. Let's do something to make people dance. And then on top of it, I wanted it to also have a message. You know, I wanted people to feel strong when they listen to it. Yeah. And. and <laughs> Strong with a big smile and their feet tapping, you know? Adam, hey, do you ever get out of the studio? Uh, not this week. Sounds like you're always in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mate, we have to talk about it. It's something that is so cool. I find it it's so awesome. that you, You've you toured a lot with Queen. You're still touring with Queen. How yeah, is man. that? It's unbelievable. They are like family to me at this point. Uh, we just uh, got off the road. We did a seven-week tour in... Um, in the US and it was awesome and all the fans everywhere were awesome and um, it was a lot of work but it's totally worth it you know now obviously we're playing your track uh, superpower what what inspired you to make this song uh, you know I was feeling um, you know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now and I feel like there's a lot of groups of people that you know get discriminated against or that get sort of ostracized and and I kind of wanted to make a song to make people in that situation feel like they didn't have to take it you know, it's it's like proud rebellion, you know? Mm. I love looking back over the trajectory of your career. It's insane, like looking at, you know, starting out on American Idol and then, you know, singing Bohemian Rhapsody on that, then becoming the lead man of Queen. Do you ever have pinch me moments and just think, how did that happen? Yeah, it's it's crazy. You know, if somebody had told me when I auditioned for Idol uh, with Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, if they had told me, oh, and in 10 years, you're going to be on tour with them, I would have been like, you're crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> do you watch the performance? back i've seen it but not, not recently but i've seen it back before yeah and I, I i do feel like who's that little boy <laughs> no mate i mean to, to be fair at the same time i mean take a listen to this i mean it's still unbelievable mama just killed a man Oh, all that time back, and you're still hitting those notes. Your, your voice, I mean, I, I will put this out there. It's so high. How on earth do you take care of it? <laughs> it's dropped a little bit over the years, actually. It has a little more weight now, which I'm kind of into. Um, <laughs> with with a lot of singers, they, they try, that they do the vocal rest thing, and they have to wear a little sign and all that type yeah. of stuff. What do you do if you're on vocal rest and Brian May wants to talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> You text? I don't know. Because, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, he's a bit of a legend, so, I mean, how do you not, <laughs> not reply to him in a conversation? I don't really know. Um, so, I, you know, I haven't had to do vocal, like, full-on vocal rest in a while, thankfully. In terms of playing new music to, to, obviously, your friends and family, who's the first person that you go to and you're like, honestly, what's your, your, what's your opinion? The, the person that I know that gives me the brutal, honest truth is my little brother. Mm. Um, he he will like be like no man that sucks like he'll tell me like, <laughs> he'll tell me like straight out no filter I think he kind of likes it when something's not good he likes telling me yeah. so oh, but he so also good. you know when, when I played him superpower he was all hell yeah man so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good barometer perfect um and, and uh, listen I understand that you are actually coming to the UK you're going to be live on our show later this month I think. That is correct. How Can't long wait. are you staying in the UK for? I know? think it's like for the week, for the week or something. Oh, very nice. Oh, we get oh, to hang right. out. Hey, well, listen, dude, this is it. It's a big moment. We're going to play again your track right here. Ah, it's on the radio. On Capital yeah, Bravers. Um, <laughs> would you like to introduce it here for us on Capital? Sure, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adam Lambert, and please enjoy and turn up my new single, Superpower. Amazing. Let's hear it uh, for Adam Lambert. Yeah, thank, you, Adam. thank you, guys. Thank you, mate.